everyone, this is Debbie from Project 39 Mini Album and welcome to my channel. Today I have a chipboard mini album that I want to share with you. I have used this design in another mini album. I'll put a link in the description box and show you that one. Totally different look. On this one I used Park Lane, which is from Joanne's Haunted Hollow collection. It is a creepy, dark, scary uh, paper pad. So you can see there's the frogs, there's snakes, there's moths, there's spider webs, there's skulls. I mean, it really is on the dark side. But it was a lot of fun to work with. Now this one I made using the cinch and the other one I made using um, rings just because this one was not quite as thick as the other one. I kept it fairly simple. So there are the cinch rings. There's still lots of room to put photos in. So you can get a bunch of photos on the pages. So on the cover, I, um, well, I added some seam binding and some fabulous fun. Uh, it just added a nice little soft element to it. And then I made some flowers and put some of the purple gems in just to add another touch to the whole thing. The cover, as you can see, there's the frog on the cover and I layered it with a little green from the paper and then black from my cardstock. And I did cut out by hand these castle elements to it. The, um, the whole feel of this is dark and creepy and really spooky. In fact, there was a page or two that I didn't even want to use. So in the beginning, I added some photo mats. So these are for four by six photos. I love the frogs on this page, but I covered it up and then decided, well, I'll use some frogs on the other side. Now these frogs are open, so you still can slip your photos into the photo mat. Um, and then the photo mat here is of course made with frogs and this frog is open. I fussy cut the frogs from the paper. They are absolutely gorgeous frogs. I loved them. So some of the pages are chipboard. This one I used heavy duty cardstock. There is a photo mat here. It's open so you can add a photo in there that says obviously beware of giant spiders. I used some paper from my stash and just inked it a little bit to match with the paper. You can probably see the muted spider webs on this bluish tone paper. And these spider webs I cut from the collection, you can see that they have sort of a shiny embossed look to them. So I'm still using a couple of photo mats, but later on in the book, I don't. Um, this one page has the great snakes graphics on it. And that uh, flap says oil of snakes but you still have all that room to put your photo and then you can use the side to journal on. I'd use a white Sharpie. These were cut from the page and I left them open so you can still put your photo, but the snakes will be part of the photo. Really creepy. Um, and again, I hand cut this castle looking page. I used a uh, wooden uh, piece from the Dollar Tree as my inspiration for it. So you can get a lot of photos on these pages. Uh, again, whether you use five by seven, you can still fit a five by seven photo or a four by six or several in stack photos. I left this page alone, just still liked the creepy element to it and just thought your photos would add a neat touch love the spider and the leaves here. I mean, those are just leaves from a pretty potted plant, but yet done in those tones, it really made it creepy. So even though there are photo mats here, if you had photos that are larger than that photo mat, like a long skinny photo, you could still have it sticking up off of that photo mat. And that photo mat would be just another decorative element. So this page has, there's, there's two different papers here. The one on the right doesn't have any uh, design to it and obviously I have the tuck spot in the corner. And the one on the left has the uh, cool looking uh, moths and that one has that skull on it. I forget the name of that moth, but that is how they come. So I did have a photo mat there so you can see that is a tuck spot to that. 
uh, the page is, by the way, eight and a half. Yep, it's eight and a half by five. So again, you could put a four by seven, I'm sorry, five by seven photo on the page or four by six or whatever size you have, smaller than that. And as you can see, there's that shiny element. The skulls are shiny on that matte paper. Just a nice touch. But even if you covered that with a four by six photo, you still have the skulls peeking at. So I used a cut apart here and made it into a flap, but still there's room to put your four by six photo on that page. Now, I loved the spiders on here, so I had to have a, a double spread on this page. Obviously, it says, turn back if I were you, and that's a great uh, photo mat. Uh, I'm sorry, it's a great flap and cobweb powder on the right-hand side will come up so you can still put your photos on that page and have the flap be part of the design of the page. So I loved this cut apart and I just put it on the page. You could put a photo right on top of that if you wanted to or just leave the page alone. Um, it's the most frightful time of the year. Photo mat or not photo mat, flap on that side. And it, with the snake theme, we still have more snakes coming out of the eyes of the creepy skulls. Really well done. Um, I fussy cut on the left hand side some of those skulls and just tack them on the bottom and the side so you still could put your photos on there and as well you could put your photo on there. I kept that one skull in the front so you can see it from the front even when the book is closed. And that is the project for today. Thanks so much for watching. Have a fabulous day. <music>